everyone, it's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins. I just want to thank you for coming to my channel and watching me make some crafts. I hope you're having a great day. Just grab a cup of coffee, maybe some hot tea or iced tea, and just sit back and enjoy. If you would like to subscribe, like, or even make a comment, I would be welcome to that. So you can share it with your family and friends. I'd love that too. And let's get started. I got this, you're not going to believe where I got this from, but I got this from Charm and Charlie's years ago. A lot of times when they changed over all of their little trays and everything, they would sell them. And I happened to come in at the right time and this friend of mine who worked there was like, you got to see these, they're only like $1.99, so I bought it. $1.99, isn't that pretty? Okay, the next I got the Dollar Tree little these are the oil ones you put vinegar and oil in them so I took these off and I'm gonna set them in this right here the little tray and I got these beautiful little bushes at Dollar Tree they are thistles and let's see what else them. and just a greenery bouquet so I'm gonna put them just like this it's quick and easy and it'll just make your table look so pretty. Okay guys, I'm using the sign from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna take the Valentine's little sign that's on the sign off. I don't break it, I'm trying not to break it. And it's harder than I thought it would be. It's really stuck on there. I'm trying not to like rip it because I'd like to use that again. That wasn't too bad. I'm going to sand it to get it smooth so I can paint it. And I'm just going to keep sanding it until it gets smooth. I'm going to use the paint from Dollar Tree. I like this color. It's a darker red. It looks a little bit orange when you're painting it, but it actually dries like a deep red. It's really pretty. See, that's the color. It dries. this sign too because I'm going to work on painting two signs and then I'll show you what they turn into. really like this color though. It's not like a bright red. It's like a deep, a deep red when it dries. And then I'm going to dry it with my heat gun so that I can probably, uh, I don't know, I probably won't give it another coat. Because I am going to distress it. But that's that sign I pulled off. I'm going to paint it white. I'm using the Waverly chalk paint. In white, of course. And I'm taking my chip brush and I'm just going to dry brush it over the heart. I love the way this turns out. It really does a nice job. Now 
I'm going to glue that piece, that sign back on. As you can see, I've got the letters from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put them onto that white strip using the black letters. I will say I was using their sign which had the jute on it or like a burlap over top that sign so I didn't feel like the stickers were they really didn't do a great job because of the texture of the burlap but I went ahead and went with it so I had to actually go back in with a sharpie because it just didn't it would miss little spots it seemed So I just went back over it with a Sharpie. You know, when you do the DIYs, you always find something to correct it with. That's the fun part of the whole thing. Right now I'm going to take some greenery that I got from the Dollar Tree. They have some really pretty stuff. Their flowers are gorgeous. And I have some beads left over from Christmas that I got at Walmart. It was actually a garland. So I just broke them apart using some of my floral wire. I'm going to cut some of that and then put some beads on it. There's my daughter putting up some red and white jute cord. Actually, I think it's just cotton twine. And I'm going to string the beads onto the wire. And then I will use the same holes where I took the jute hanger out of the back of it. And I'll just put the wire cord into those holes. So I'm using the red and white beads, but I do believe I changed it down the road. I think the red was too red going against that deeper red, so you'll see in a few minutes that I changed it to white. It just looked better. See, I'm pulling them off and I'm like, okay, it's going to be white. Because actually the sign was just red and white, but it was a deeper red and the red beads were really like a bright red and they were plastic, they're not wood beads, so they're harder to color. I mean, unless I use a, I guess, a chalk paint, which probably would have been better, but then I didn't have that same color, so I just chose white. There's my daughter handing me things again. My little assistant. She's wonderful. I love her.
Okay, I'm sticking the wire through the holes and then I just twist it on the back. Pretty simple. I really like using the wire better because uh, you don't have to use the glue and you know the wire is going to hold. Okay, I'm going to use the, the jute cord and just wrap it around the heart just to give it that farmhouse look. And I like making heart signs that you can use year round. So I'll probably make more of these with different phrases on them. And probably different textures and different colors. Because we love you around every day 365 days so hang up those hearts okay I'm also taking the the jute cord and winding it around my greenery around the bottom because I'm tying two or three pieces together. And as you can see, there's a little bunch of greenery. I'm going to hot glue it to my heart. And now I'm just going to take some jute cord again and wrap it around the, the heart itself. So if you like the projects, please subscribe and like and hit the notification bell for the next video and i really do appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and if you share with your family and friends i would love that and i try to make pretty easy diy projects so that you could just do these pretty much in a short amount of time i mean i'm probably going to do more intensive ones later on when i have the weekends but these are usually done during the week when I have a couple of hours to do them. The weekends I usually have more time. But these are quick and easy and they make your house look warm and just let your family know that you love them. I did put a little glue where the jute cord is going just to keep them together because I wrapped it a few times. Otherwise they like move around a little bit.
I'm gonna make a little bow just to go in the front, just something simple. Like if you were to tie your shoes, just loop it and then tie it in the middle. And then cut off the little ends to make it shorter so it looks quite pretty neat. Just nice and neat. And there you have it. I love it. Kindness matters. Always. I love the way it turned out. And there it is again. I love, look, I put a little, um, I have a little wooden rose. I got these at, um, after Christmas at Kohl's, a box of them, and they were like probably 10 bucks. My next one is for my daughter. She wanted something about Disney. She loves Disney. So I said, I'll make you a sign, and we decided to put Love is Disney. So that's that same sign that I painted before, and then I just sort of distressed it with some white. And I'm going to put these gold letters that I have. And it's going to say, Love is Disney. And again, they came from the Dollar Tree. I had to use another package because you know you only get certain number of letters at Dollar Tree so if you're doing any of these projects you would want to pick up more than one of the same type of letters because there's always going to be a letter that you need that you won't be able to get off of that first sheet. So I think this was my second sheet because I needed the S.
This was a little labor intense because I'd have to move the letters around because sometimes they would not look completely straight, so I'd have to pull them up very carefully because I didn't want to rip them, and I'd have to realign them. Even though you think you're getting straight, you'll look back and go, oh, that's a little crooked. Let me fix that. And that's the good thing about stickers because you can pull them up and make them straight. Of course, if you're handwriting it, that's more difficult. And there it says, Love is Disney. Pulling that up again, trying to get the D straight. And next, I found these stickers in my stash that when I use the scrapbook, actually I'm still scrapbooking, but not as much as I need to, because I have six kids and I want to make them all scrapbooks, but 20 years of pictures, hmm, yeah, a long time. So anyway, I found this little Borders, and it was Disney Borders, and they have the cute little Mickey ears on them. So I'm going to put the little Mickey ear borders around the board. I was definitely having trouble getting them out, so I think I just cut them open completely. It was like it was not going to come open. It wasn't going to slide out. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to tear into this. I think these little borders were so cute. I think if I would have known she wanted a Disney sign, I probably would have gone to Michael's maybe and gotten some Disney stickers. But I might do that again, because she said I can make as many signs as I want. She's going to put them in her room. So if you guys have any great ideas for Disney decor, let me know down in the comments. And I will try to make them, or maybe you've made something. You can send me a picture. That would be wonderful. It's turning out cute. So we were trying to decide what to put in the middle, and we were going to try to print out some Mickey Mouse ears, and in the meantime, I am going to get some floral wire and make a hanger. But as we're trying to find images, we just couldn't get the size that we wanted, even though we were trying to shrink it down. So you'll see what we ended up doing. Okay, I'm twirling the wire around my pencil and I'm gonna pull it off and we will have a cute little spiral hanger. So I just put it through the holes and twist it in the back. Pretty simple. I'm looking at different things that I might use but I don't think this is gonna work either the colors are just a little bit off but now I'm using it to make a circle because I'm going to make 
the Mickey ears. This was the perfect size. It fit perfectly. And then I'm going to make the little smaller circles on both sides. Getting my acrylic paint from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to paint the little Mickey hat with his ears onto the board. Okay, I'm using my paint gun to dry certain places on it so I can paint it again. And there he is. Look how cute that is. Little Mickey ears. Gonna dry it again. She didn't like all the distressed on it, so I went back in with some of the the red. She was like, she doesn't like distressed look. So I'm going back in to sort of make it not as distressed. Even though I liked it, she didn't like it. So going back in to get some of the red back in. And there it is. Turned out cute. Love is Disney. Kindness matters. And there's my little quick table decoration. Thank you for watching. And thank you for subscribing. And have a wonderful day.